Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can make leaves that float accurately on ripples. And by accurately, I mean they go up and down with the surface, and we're going to get them rotating so they look like they're actually riding on the ripples. And this is a basic geometry notes tutorial, so it shouldn't be too difficult to follow. Let's dive in here, metaphorically speaking, of course. This is going to be kind of like cooking show style, so I have some prepared ingredients beforehand. If you're curious how I got the first ingredient here, which is the surface with ripples simulated on top of it, reacting to our monster here, you can check out last week's tutorial. Okay, so this is the first ingredient. We're also going to want a collection of dead leaves, which I think I can enable that. Yeah, here we go. This is actually from the really old now grass essentials that Blender Guru did. So yeah, I have a collection of leaves here. Let's just disable that collection for now and go back up to our ripples. So that's two of the ingredients. The other one is in weight paint here. You can see I've got a vertex group here called leaves. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but that's what I said. And you can see here the red parts are where I want more leaves. And then the blue parts are where the creature is. And I didn't really want leaves clipping through the creature. So I just went up here and switched it from add to subtract and subtracted out of those parts. So yeah, let's mix all of these ingredients together in a geometry node setup. So I'm going to split my window here, go down to the geometry node editor. And if we hit new here, you can see it adds in some nodes and it also adds in a geometry nodes modifier in our modifier panel here. That's very handy, and we'll come back to that later. But let's just get started by scattering some points on these faces here. There's a really nice node for that. Let's see, distribute points on faces is what we're gonna want. And you can always go Shift A and search for a node if you don't know where it is, but unfortunately then you actually have to know what it's called. Okay, so we've got some points scattered on our faces here. Let's just take a look at this. If we actually play this forward, you can see our points are bobbing up and down with the ripples, which is a good start. Let's actually make sure we can get our ripples back. So I'm going to go Shift A. Let's look in Geometry and get a Join Geometry. And that will just rejoin our original geometry with the points that we have. And now we can see our ripples again. That's good. Okay, let's just take our distribute points on faces and talk about how we're going to actually distribute these. The main way I'm going to do it is with this density input. So let's drag this density input back into this empty socket in our group input. And you can see that immediately names it density. So that's good. It knows what it is doing there. And now if we go out to our modifier stack, you can see there's this new attribute here that we can just turn up. And the more we turn it up, the more dense the points are distributed. So that's pretty useful. Let's actually work on the location of these points. So we want them to be scattered on that weight paint group that we created earlier. So let's just grab a shift a search. Let's see math. Let's grab a math node and drop that onto this density string. And I'm going to switch this from add to multiply. And let's once again, drag this bottom value in the multiply node back into this empty socket. It's called value now. If we want to change that, we could go to the group here and let's just call it location. Okay, now you can see we've got another attribute over here in the modifier stack. But right now this is just a number and we want it to be a vertex group. So if we hit this little button here, that will change it into an attribute. And basically it's the Wild West now. It could be a whole lot of different things like the position and the creases and shades move, all that fun stuff. But if we look here, you can see our vertex group that we called leaves. And if we click that, you can see the density is working only in the area where we had that group. So that's pretty cool. Now, if we want more, we can just turn up the density and that will multiply it times that location. And now we've got our leaf scattered in the right area. Right now, though, they're not actually leaves. They're just points. So let's work a little bit more on that and add in an instances to points instances on points. Okay, so this will take all our points that we have. And now is when we use our dead leaves collection. And we can actually just grab it from the outliner and drag it into the geometry nodes editor. And let's go reset children, separate children. And I'm also just going to check relative, see what that does. <laughs> now with geometry, I'm going to plug that into the instance of the instance on points. And you can see our whole collection is on every single point. 
So let's go pick instance here on the instances on points node. And now we've got our leaves nicely scattered. And if we just play this, let's see. Yeah, they're reacting pretty nicely to our simulation. They're bobbing up and down at least, that's pretty good. So let's work a little bit more on the rotation of things. I'm going to take the normal from the distribute points on faces, and the normal is the direction that these faces are pointing, and we can plug that into rotation, and that, if we take a look here, yeah. Now they're rotating as they bob with the waves. That's pretty good. You can see they're rotated a little bit strangely still. Let's add in a vector math node. And with this, I'm just going to drop it in between the normal and the rotation. And now we can take this top value, and if we just hold shift to make sure it's slight adjustments rather than a whole bunch of adjustments, we can kind of rotate them underneath like this. So let's just reset the positioning of these points. We're going to want to work on this strand in between the points and the instances to on points. Let's go shift A and add in a set position. There it is. Okay. And you could probably do crazy complex things with that. But right now, we just want to turn up the offset a little bit on the Z so that they start to come up out of the water a little bit. But we also kind of want them in the water. So there's probably a happy medium there somewhere. <laughs> this doesn't look too bad. And now things are rotating pretty nicely and they're bobbing up and down pretty nicely. If they're rotating too much, I think you could just duplicate this vector math node switch it from add and let's try and go to scale and I'm gonna just make this value a little bit less than one maybe like a 0.7 and now from what I understand which is not much they will rotate less wildly possibly hopefully <laughs> anyways I think that is pretty good for our setup now we've got leaves and they're bobbing on the water and they're rotating nice before I wrap things up, I want to give you this gift of free smoke elements, which are looping. And these are super handy if you're a visual effects artist. I know I've found all sorts of situations where they can help add life to my scenes. And these are looping assets, so you don't have to worry about seams where the clip starts and ends. So yeah, if that sounds useful to you, go ahead and grab a copy. There's a link in the description. But other than that, if you're interested in learning how I simulated these waves, you can go ahead and check this tutorial out. I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!